so hello guys welcome back to the jesus mirror my name is liv this is toulouse my two-year-old and i just want to say welcome 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 if you are new and i know i've got a few new followers i literally just hit 10k followers and i just want to say you are so welcome i cannot believe it guys it is no secret i have been away for five months i've been on a holiday as well and during that holiday my channel suddenly just got hugely promoted by God. So literally when you rest, God is still able to use you, promote you. So let that be like a testament to his faithfulness. And I have seen so many of your comments. I've read your emails and I'm keeping you all in my prayers. Thank you all of you who are from Peru, India, Kenya. It has blown my mind. So won't God do it? It's amazing what he's done. So again, if you are new, my name is Liv. I am a painter. I'm an artist. I love cats and I literally love everything. Jesus, I love glamour. I love femininity. And literally my biggest heart call is really to help you see your identity in Christ, knock down like religious lies and also just create a like a space in culture for for god so welcome here because it's like a safe non-judgmental place and that is something which i really want you to hold on to as you learn and develop your true reflection in christ and really to know that your self-worth comes from him and that is the place where life flows from so that is what i hope you will find when you come to my videos so as many of you are aware queen passed away sadly at 96 and we have been in a national state of mourning and it only felt right really to create a video where i wanted to reflect on her life and the lessons that we can learn as believers um or maybe even if you're not a believer but these are the life lessons that we can take from the queen and I really hope this inspires you and encourages you. I have literally, I've been so heartbroken by the loss of this incredible woman. And in that upset, and literally I have been crying, I have been, like many of you, just really taken aback by it. And God's really put on my heart to reflect on her life. And also amidst all of that pain, um, sometimes just confusion, not feeling very safe, um, and just like uncertain, you know, we've lost like our protector, it feels like. Um, but amidst that, I've also felt really inspired. And that is literally where this video is birthed from because I've just felt so inspired by her life. And I really wanted to make something where it honors her um, and it honors her majesty. So let's get into it. So number one is don't underestimate the anointing God has on your life. So when the queen was just 25, she went to be crowned as our queen. And privately, she, she wore a white dress and she went with a priest and between her and God, he actually anointed her with oil, the priest, in private just before the ceremony where you would have seen her being crowned at her coronation. Now, this was a physical anointing with oil and she did this as a, co a covenant with God. She did this as a covenant with God really to serve us, to serve us, the people. Um, and it was a dedication really to, to us, but also more importantly to God, to basically make a pact between him and her to be like, I'm gonna serve your people. And I believe, I had in my heart that she did that to the best of her ability. And even though this was a physical anointing, what God says to us as his people is a, is a spiritual anointing, which we all are, which we all have access to. We are all anointed by God. And that is my first point, is don't neglect the anointing that God has given you. The queen went on for 70 years, 70 years under this special anointing. And I guess my question to you is what has God given you to reign over? What has God given you? Maybe that is a talent. Maybe it's to write a book, to come up with new ways to cure diseases. Maybe it's something in music, something in culture, something in the arts, whatever it is. You will know when I speak about this, you'll think, mm -hmm, I know what you're talking about, Liv. I know the thing that God has given me to nurture, to go for, to pursue. You'll just know deep down what that thing is, even if you feel like you don't feel qualified, whatever it is, you know deep down that God has, has something that you just can't shake and that you know you need to pursue. Now, 
I, when we look at the queen, she was not idle. She was not lazy. She worked so hard up until 96, guys, she worked. Number two is he will give you a help mate. Now for all my single people, those of you who are hoping for a wife, a husband, get excited, get excited and get encouraged because we know that the queen was given her helpmate, her triple braided cord, her rib mate, Philip. King Philip was her ride or die, her man, her strength, her companionship, and God shows us how faithful he is. It really shows us his nature, that he didn't want the queen to live a life of being lonely without somebody to help her in her purpose. And isn't that a lot like us, you know? He doesn't want us to go in this life just being alone and independent and strong and i know that we've heard this soft life many of you have heard this kind of aesthetic of going going towards more of a softer life and i think really what that means is it says like it's surrender that's what surrender looks like it's basically saying look I could do a lot of things on my own, but I don't want to do a lot of things on my own, you know? And there is no shame in that. And God shows us that he He wants you to have someone who's gonna help you and vice versa. I'm sure the queen helped the king, helped King Philip. And they really had such a beautiful love, a pure love. And I really hope that that encourages you because guys, he was there from literally well into his nineties as well as she was. And that just shows that when it's from God, when it's right, and when he gives you an ordained spouse, whoever that may be, you know, they're there for the long haul, you know? So just take some comfort in knowing that if you are single, God literally has the perfect person for you. So my next point is take up space. I think one of the reasons I absolutely love the queen is that she was never a shrinking violet. She took up space. There was an amazing quote that she once said, which was, to be believed, I have to be seen. So she knew the importance of her image, um, of being seen, of taking confidence and pride in her appearance. I think the queen has worn every color underneath the rainbow. She has, she is known notorious for her bright colors, her block colors, her block dressing. And I really think, okay, you might be thinking, Liv, I love black. And that's, you know, that's great. If you love black, awesome. But my point is, she was not afraid to take up space. And I really encourage you to be bold, okay? To be bold in your church, your families, your communities, where, on your job. Be bold. And you know me, I love my color. Out of respect, I am wearing black. Don't shy away from your personality. If your personality is saying to you deep down, I just want to be a bit more adventurous with my colors. I want to, I want people to look at me and, and feel joyous and alive. And I want to represent how I'm feeling on the inside, on the outside, you know? If that is the case, then this is your permission to go for it. Just start, whatever it is. If you feel like you want to just, yeah, show off more personality, then please do. Please do, okay? You've got this and Jesus is inside of you and he's going to shine out regardless of what you're wearing. But this is, this is what I want us to really see from the queen as a woman of God. She did not shy away. She did not play it safe. And she was absolutely classy and dignified in doing it. So just go for it. So my next point is live an active life. When we think of the queen, we know that the queen literally loved going on hikes, loved walking, loved riding her horses. And I think it's no secret that her health made her have a long and healthy life. Now, this is a huge chance for you to think about being intentionally active in your life because God gives us our bodies as temples and we are to treat them as temples and also when you hear me say like be active live an active life I don't want to forget also that for us ladies like there are times in our month when it is the time of the month where our bodies literally need to rest and we can't be as active as we want to right so I know that and I understand that and I really honestly think it's like being in tune with the with your rhythm of your body and you know that when that energy and those hormones start to pick back up and you start to feel good again and you have that energy this is what I mean when that happens seize the opportunity to be active even if it's like a quick walk whatever it is start to have a routine of of having an active lifestyle 
I know my channel I've spoken about, you know, my weight loss journey and um, just kind of being intentional again about literally having um, a healthy routine, having an active lifestyle, it's not something to take for granted. And God bless the queen with such a healthy long life. And I really feel like it helped. Like, I feel like God and her had this amazing partnership where she knew that she had to move her body, but he also blessed her in ways that she probably couldn't see. I mean, to be that age and to be able to do those appointments, like meeting people all over the world, well into her 90s is incredible. And I just think also it encourages us because it's like, if God can give the queen such incredible health, why would he not do it for you? Why do you not do it for me, you know? So I think let's help God as well by getting off our butts <laughs> and being active. When I think about the Queen, as she served our nation, the Commonwealth, she did it with intention. She wasn't, um, she wasn't idle, but she also did things with excellence. And I really just think now we don't have the luxury to live a life where we're not being intentional. Every day is a gift from God. And the Queen has such a beautiful life and I really encourage you to come before God and ask him what it is. If you're like, I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing and I need help, then please ask the Lord for instruction, for a revelation of what it is he wants you to do. Because I know that if you have a pulse, he has something for you to do, okay? And it's not always straight forward sometimes you might be led somewhere and you go up and you go down and you're all over the place and you don't understand it but sometimes all it takes is God telling you to make those first moves and he'll show you once you get there we know that was the same for Abraham God told him to move and he'll show you the details later so please live a life of intention and don't ever think that your life is just I don't know just something or nothing like you're just here for, you know, that it's completely random and that your life doesn't have a purpose. That's absolute lie. Your life is full of purpose and God is just waiting for you to discover it, okay? So we know that the will of God is to pray. And that leads me really nicely onto my next point. Live a life of prayer. We know that the queen was a faith-filled woman. She was a prayerful woman. And I really don't think she would have been able to do all of the things that she set out to do, all of those meetings with people all over the world without prayer. Prayer was her guide. And prayer is something which we can't neglect. So I really encourage you to carve out some time to prayer. Now, maybe your prayer time is in the morning, maybe it's in the evening, whenever it is, I encourage you to just have a daily conversation that runs throughout the day with God. Because actually, this is probably what an active relationship looks like, rather than I talk to you once and then that's it for the rest of the day. And if you're like me, I feel like I pick up the conversation up and down throughout the day. My final point is duty and serving. So, we, when we reflect on the Queen, her sense of duty to others was absolutely phenomenal. We know that we are called as God's disciples to have a duty to spread the gospel. Now that might be in a really small way or a really large way. Not everybody has a dream to be a pastor, okay? And not everybody is called to do that. But we are called to spread the gospel, spread Jesus in a way, in small ways. Maybe it's talking to somebody in a queue when you don't really feel like doing it, but you just feel like the Holy Spirit is tugging on your heart to talk to that person. You never know what it could be. Maybe it's just talking to somebody at work. And a good one, I've noticed that people tend to say that they don't, they feel a bit nervous to talk about maybe God and the faith they have in God. And a good one is when you come back from, from the weekend and on Monday when they ask you what you've been up to, you can literally say, oh, I've been to church. And that's quite a, like an honest, simple way in. And maybe it's just enough for them to know that you've been going to church. And maybe it's something that you can build on. But when it comes to serving, the queen is like the epitome of serving, ser serving others and putting others before us. And I really encourage you to find small ways where you can be small ways of kindness, small ways of showing people and being the Bible that people read, even if they've never picked up a Bible. We were lucky enough to witness a woman of faith, similar to a woman of faith in the Bible, Queen Esther, literally, who was ordained to lead her people 
and also at a time where it wasn't really planned for her and she had to quickly come to the throne. And I just think we were so lucky to witness that, that um, happening in our time. And honestly, the fact that we have seen this woman of faith, it should inspire us. It should make us think how, firstly that God like absolutely loves women and really it's it's you know there is no sexism with the lord there is no you know men above women and i just absolutely love the fact i just think it's so cool so awesome that god has just shown us what he can do through this faithful woman so i just really hope this video encouraged you i hope that it blessed you i think there's just so much we can learn from the queen so god bless you guys and i will see you in my next video very shortly bye guys